So when you finish building your website, there might come a point at which you want to connect a custom domain. You can connect a custom domain by going to your project settings and then heading over to the domains tab. By default, when you publish your Framer website, Framer will generate a domain for you. This is great so you can start testing it in the browser, but you can also get a free subdomain from Framer. This can be anything as long as it's not taken yet. So I'm going to enter supercool.framer.website. You can also change this to a different extension. So you can pick .photos, .media, .wiki, or .ai. I'm just gonna pick .website for now. And now my website is also available on this URL, supercool.framer.website. But let's say we want to connect our own custom domain. I'll remove this domain that I just added and head over to the connect a domain you own. So I own the domain yura.video and I'll hit the check, which means I'm now attaching this domain to this project. We're not done yet though, because we have to make sure our DNS records are updated so that our domain provider knows that this domain should point to this framework project. For some domain providers, we support auto-connect. Um, so Framer checks um, whether your domain is hosted at a domain provider which supports this. My domain is hosted at Google Domains, which supports auto-connect. So this blue button will show up, which will let me auto-connect my domain uh, to my Google DNS. If this blue button does not show up, you will have to enter this DNS information in your domain provider to make sure it knows that this project should now be connected to your domain. because. Uh, my domain provider supports auto-connect. I'll hit auto-connect, which will open Google domains, which is going to ask me, do you want to connect this domain to Framer? Uh, yes, I want to connect this domain, which is automatically going to add all of the DNS records. So Google now confirms that my domain is connected to Framer. So I'm gonna head back to Framer and click refresh. And Framer now also confirms that my domain is connected. So now if I head over to yura.video, you will see that my site is now connected um, to my custom domain. And that is how you connect your custom domain to Framer.